Wow, that was pretty interesting. I can't believe how everything stayed so well preserved. Speaking of tombs, did you know that China has some impressive ones just like Egypt? That's right, China's first emperor, Qing Shi Huangdi, who ruled from 221 BC to 210 BC, had a large tomb constructed for himself and an army of warriors. This tomb complex was found in 1974 by some peasants after being hidden from the world for over 2,000 years. Wait, wait, wait. What were you saying about an army of warriors? Well, not exactly a real army. These were actually terracotta warrior statues made out of baked clay. What do you mean? See, the emperor believed that if he had his people build these statues and have them placed within his tomb, the warriors would be able to protect him in the afterlife. Archaeologists estimate that over 7,000 terracotta warriors are within the tomb, and that it took over 700,000 people to construct the tomb and statues. That's really impressive. What's even more amazing is that each statue was custom made to have its own unique face and design. That's a lot of work, and besides the terracotta army, the tomb held many cultural artifacts and treasures such as tools and weapons. Treasure? How did that stuff stay hidden for so long? You'd think someone would have found it. I mean, it was just sitting there for like 2,000 years. Well, it was pretty well hidden. For our next video, we're going to take a look at the tombs of ancient China and learn more about the emperor's terracotta army.